Yeah, since they kind of need to keep. No, like there's thing. something with rabbits where it's, um, um, around, it's like a certain thing where you can't hunt them because the meat gets weird, or there's some there was some sort of issue with rabbits where I was at. Huh. Makes sense. Oh. So, and this I one guess. guy tried to shoot a fucking jackrabbit. And oh, there's like something going around where the meat was contaminated with the rabbits in oh. the area. Some dumb shit tried to shoot oh, them. Okay. And there's also an issue Honestly. where if you shoot them with the wrong gun, their entire body's gonna get littered with um bullet remains. You can't get that on the meat. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. If you... And then it makes the meat weird. I mean, if you use a buckshot when you're supposed to use a rabbit. No, gun, yeah, somebody used there's... a buckshot on rabbit once and then tried to eat it, and then you had to go to the hospital. There was a lot of stupid people where I lived. Oh, yeah. There was a lot of stupid I'm... people where I used to live. Seriously. Gosh, I'm not even a gun buff, but I know that you that the amount of pellets you need to take down a buck is probably maybe. Ten times what you need to take down. Well, a depends on how you do it. You... Well, if you really want to go efficient, you use a super sniper rifle, one of those tracking scope nonsense. You just put one thing in the rabbit, and you only have one bullet to worry I love about. Using sni- I used to love using sniper rifles. Those are one fun. clean shot. Yep. And honestly, if you want to go even worse from there, get a bow and arrow. You could just. I was terrible bow at bows and re- arrows. arrows and I could. Not, I can't hunt with a bow and arrow. I mean, I could shoot like a steel target, but I had so much trouble shooting anything. You have to have real good. I think it's. I, I think honestly, it's harder to hunt with a bow and arrow than it is with a rifle. Yeah, to be honest. But yeah, no. Well, like, I don't. Yeah, there's some well, that you I just can't, should not use. Well, with a gun, it's more of you. You need aim, and Nothing. you point and shoot. With a bow and arrow, you have to have the certain amount of um, pu- arm, arm strength, strength along with aim. <laughs> that was my the issue. tricep strength. That was my issue. Was I had really shitty arm strength, and then my other issue was. Why don't that, you just get um, a twenty pound bow? I was a really bad shot with arrow. There's different uh, levels to bows with the string on how many pounds and how hard it is to pull back. Yeah. I don't know what kind of bow and arrow was. All I know is that I kept getting yelled at because I was putting too much power into it. Because I, I, I would shoot, and the bow would just fly to the other side, and you like, to outer space, and we could never find the fucking arrows. And at one point, we found an uh, arrow, and it was over a mile away. Now, I know it wasn't over a mile away. It was really fucking far out. It was just, I don't know where the hell it went. But I don't know how the fuck I shot uh-huh. it that far out. Because I'm a weak-ass bitch. Um... Maybe it was a five pound bow. Anyway, well, who knows? In the high s- <laughs> in my high school, they had one of those. They had an archery section that only seniors could do. I tried it once. Holy crap! I was archery horrendous. takes practice. No, no, no. I mean, one of those. I ended up with those. Feathers up inside my fingers twice. Oh my God. The second what time. What did you do? It was twice in one week. He was being stew, basically. Uh, what did you? <laughs> yes. Basically, the second time, the nurse had to peel away some of my skin to pull the oh little feathers. What did you do? Twice in the same week. He was being stew. I don't think he can explain how the fuck he did that. Um, apparently I released the hand the wrong way, the arrow moved toward, moved to the right a bit too much, and one of the feathers sliced at my skin as it was going by, I don't remember, the gym teacher was shocked that I did that once, even more shocked the second time I did that. I couldn't shoot straight... Um, I almost hit a bullseye in the guy to the right of me's target. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that I. W- <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know. Oh uh, I don't even. Yeah, it, it appears my I'm a bit too yeah. arm twitchy, and I can't keep them stable long enough. So as I let go, oh boy. I move a bit. 
Let it go. Let it go. Radio. Yeah, I went there. Fucking frozen, man. Frozen. That's cold of you. <laughs> I'm curious though, what after Frozen will be the next um, Disney movie that involves a fairy tale of some sort, or inspired by a fairy tale of some sort. I completely forgot the Snow Queen was an actual fairy tale until they did the movie, and then I could not. Uh, I, they they I did. Know. I liked Frozen. I was surprised. I've heard very, very, very mixed things. Like, from one person, like, from a few people I trust with their movie ideas, like, I trust these people know when a good movie is good. I hear it's really great. From a handful of other people, about the same amount, who I hold in that same regard, they're like, yeah, it was, it was okay. It wasn't as good as everyone's making it okay. out to be. My, yeah. Especially. Um, here's the thing about Frozen. It's great when you consider certain things into it, but it does have a lot of flaws. Yeah. Aside from the animation stuff that, well, for some reason, everyone um, decided. I feel like it had certain flaws writing wise. Personally, to, to me. I mean, it's a, it's a great movie, but I believe it could have been better. But hey, something to look forward my, to. Pixar said... My big thing with Frozen was that I was just really glad the comic relief was actually enjoyable. I actually liked Olaf. Because the trailers made me really Fro pissed off at him. I hated the trailers to this movie. Because it just was like, oh my god, this movie's gonna be stupid. And then the movie actually was pretty good. And I appreciated the fact that El what? there was no real villain. Except, I guess, Hans. Spoilers. But... Honestly, I wish Hans was not a villain because it would have worked if he was just a naturally good guy and Anna just realized that she didn't love yeah, him. Yeah, but I feel like writing-wise, making him the villain changed everything and made the movie a lot better. Yeah, I, I like how the basically... I also really enjoyed... Oh, my thing with Frozen is that I just really liked how they kind of changed the formula. Yeah. Like, true love isn't... True love's kiss it isn't... Your, your true love, your romance. True love is between, can be between sisters. It can be with family. And I like how the woman, like, um, you think that um, Anna is going to fall for Hans, and then you think, oh, well, then Kristoff has to save her. But no, it's just Elsa. It's like um, Anna's sacrifice to save her sister because she loves her sister. That's true love. That's what I really liked about it. I liked how none of them got married. I like how Elsa did not have any sort of romantic interest, and it was really about somebody who really had just mainly just depression and anxiety and was just really kind of awkward just gaining confidence through shit. Um, one of the things... <laughs> I, had, I had a thought, and then it disappeared. One of the things I really liked about it is, if you watch in the beginning of the movie, um, spoilers... Um, you see how Elsa's parents are trying to help her with her problem because they don't understand her problem. They don't know how to fix the situation, but they're trying. Now, it did give Elsa anxiety issues, but they tried their best. And it shows how, like, parents can try their best and still... And it can be wrong. It's create issues. But, like, um, my other thing, too, was, um, in... There's, like, a, but this Bailey was just on Tumblr. There was, like, people arguing about whether or not... Um, Elsa's parents were abusive. And I don't really think they were because they went to the trolls. Yeah. And the trolls are basically just like, she's gonna, she can, it's beautiful, but she can lose control of it. And honestly, if, they, I mean, like, yeah, they could have gone to look for help, but who knows what would have happened if somebody found out or the kingdom found out that the king's, the, the world, the princess was, uh, was like some magic using. Not lunatic. only that. <laughs> I mean, she wasn't one, but. There's that danger, and there's also the fact that who the fuck do you go to when your kid has ice? Exactly, powers? because she was. A, yes. I don't believe, like, judging by the movie, like, there's not a lot of information on ice powers in the movie. But I mean, if if her neither of her parents had it, and assuming that no one in their families had it, they wouldn't know how to deal with it. Like, they wouldn't know how to control the powers, so they would assume maybe it's like she can just learn to control the powers. I mean, when you don't understand something, you go about it one way. Um, and sometimes that doesn't work. Yeah, but, I mean, I... they tried. I mean, it's not like, okay, we're locking you in a tower, deal. We'll see you on your birthday. 
um, in 15 years when we marry you off. Well, I, like, well, Elsa didn't really Have get married nice off. She just became queen. No, oh. I mean that it, it wasn't one of those, oh, crap, our daughter's a freak. We can't have Well, that's see because that. the parents are dead. Construct a tower. Dead. Construct a tower so we can lock her away and just... You know, marry her off and have her out of our head. Oh, like go. There's this great head cannon. Um, uh, that um, uh, that you were um, the ship um, when the parents had to go off on the ship. There's a head cannon that they were trying to get to Rapunzel's wedding. Oh yeah, yeah. Where did that scene post about yeah. that? And because and also Rapunzel appears in the in Frozen with um Flynn. As background. No, she's actually like in the screen for a minute, for a couple seconds there. I mean, yeah, she's like not, she's not really background. She's like in the in kind of focus where you can actually see her. I mean, it's not for too long, but she's there. Oh, yeah. You just ha oh. it's you so just have to pause it at the you right can't really moment. See Flynn, but yeah, she, uh, like when uh, when Anna's like running outside, like the gates for the first time in forever. And like yeah. um, Rapunzel's walking down there with, and you can kind of see Flynn gets into the frame right when they um, switch when they switch angles. By the way, Hans has a bulge and it's awesome. Makes me think of David Bowie. That's it. What they actually wait? Yeah. wait. They actually acknowledge the fact that hold on, they acknowledge male anatomy. Yep. If you look at Hans, he has a bulge. It's like David Bowie from Labyrinth. It's they... beautiful. I mean, like, not well. Not, uh, now I just sound creepy, <laughs> but I just like how there was like they a potion of a fucking Disney movie. <laughs> that that kind of seems pushing it. Wow, well, like, they didn't they, make like the how, feet like comment. <laughs> the do you know um, how how comment. big his feet are? <laughs> oh my god, I didn't notice that. You've gotta be. Oh my god. You, you don't remember that. <laughs> I forgot about that. I thought I you did. Frozen. I'm only. No, I'm going off of what you guys uh, said. Well, we just gave away <laughs> so many spoilers. <laughs> I love. Honestly, I don't care. I'm probably not gonna see it. That's why my friend springs it to movie. I seriously love Tumblr because um after the movie came out, there's just nothing but these street caps of Hans crotch, and they're just all over my Tumblr. Just like Hans crotch, just showing it off. And just like, oh my god, Tumblr, really? Somebody actually took the time to screenshot and crop all these fucking screenshots, so you, I could see every angle of Hans crotch. In like seventeen different posts, and then repeated six times. Well, the oh I literally had a day where I scrolled. I was scrolling down, and all it was was Hans Crotch for sixteen posts. Just <laughs> angles of Hans Crotch, comments about Hans Crotch. Just oh my god, it was just it, it was just everywhere. That is. It was beautiful. That is. It insane. was a beautiful moment on Tumblr because all I could think of was like this is it was just, and the worst part was like I realized as I was scrolling through all his crotch pictures. I wasn't surprised at the least that Tumblr was obsessing over his fucking crotch. Because <laughs> after a certain point, you just are like, yeah. And then you like, um, My and then if goodness. somebody sees it, they're just like, what the fuck? Just hey, like, Stu, have you heard that? I believe they're remaking Faith's Day Night. Yeah, they are. They are making an original path done by unfoodable because Fate Zero was such a huge success but the issue I actually have with that is they're not getting Gen Urabura to write the script for the new scenario the thing that I think made Fate Zero so much more well loved than Fate Stay Night was the fact that Gen did a better job with the whole atmosphere and more than um, what's his face that made 